Today we're going to be tearing up this Logitech K650 to unveil all of its inner workings and hidden secrets, aka a teardown. So the first thing we need to do to tear this thing down is by unscrewing eight of these back bolts on the back of the keyboard. Once all eight bolts are unscrewed, you can actually go inside of this keyboard. Just kidding, you actually have to peel the sticker back, which you might need to use a heat gun or some sort of prying tool. And then you get exposed to two more bolts right here. Now that the two bolts are unscrewed, we can take this thing off, right? Nope, you actually have to pop the battery open. And inside of here, you're gonna see three more bolts. All of the hidden secret screws have been unscrewed and now we can pry this baby open. Now we can get to actually prying this thing open. See, just run this thing across, and bam. Splitting this thing like the seas are being split. Guys, I have a confession to make. We done messed up, AA Ron. We can't open this keyboard because it's not opening from the edge here, from the lip. And that's because these need to be peeled off. And most likely there's a screw that needs to be unscrewed. And let's peel this sucker off and bingo. And then one more there. All right, let's try this again. Boom. We have unveiled the hidden secrets. This is what you'll be greeted with for the bottom board. It's going to be this rubber mat that serves as the buttons and this is pretty much going to be the membrane keyboard switches and when you actually click somewhere it registers on these little dots here and that's how you actually get the click to register when you're actually typing with the key switches and then under the rubber dome key switch mat you can see that there is going to be the circuit board here and then you're also going to see this bit attached and there is going to be some screws and then once the screw is removed, you should be able to just kind of wiggle it right out. And under that, you can see that it's all just kind of wired in through that red cable. And that's what goes to the uh, battery compartment over here. And if anyone does want to look at the circuit board details on this little board, it's going to be right there. If you're interested in any of the numbers and then same with the numbers on this module here. And then if we take a look at the other part of the keyboard, there's really nothing much here. This is just um, the housing. And you can see that's where the media control buttons go. And you can see them on the front here. So that's pretty much the Logitech K650 teardown. If you're interested in the tools we used in this video, links will be down in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.